criminal gangs facilitating wildlife trafficking, you will face serious consequences. A cause championed for decades by the Prince of Wales. In a cost of living crisis, it's perhaps easy to forget the threats piling up for Africa's wildlife. But the annual awards last night, hosted by conservation charity Tusk, was a chance for star guests to highlight the work of conservationists across Africa. And the decade of awards was championed by both Prince William and his cousin Peter Phillips. Alumni have since gone on to bring poaching levels to near zero in an area of Kenya, and elephant death rates have been reduced by 66% in Zambia between 2018 and 2020. Tusk's boss, Charlie Mayhew, thinks protecting wildlife is very important to the Prince of Wales. Right from, from day one in 2005 when he became our patron, um, you know, he has always demonstrated a deep passion for the continent, its people and its wildlife. His determination to try and do what he can to elevate the, the debate on the illegal wildlife trade and, and through his initiative United Wildlife he's been amazing. A Chile's Bieru Hanga received the Prince William Award for a lifetime of conservation work. He's helped transform wetlands into a bird watcher's paradise, engaging locals in the benefits of tourism. As a boy, he was arrested five times for causing a nuisance, but what was once considered a crime is now a conservation career. One of the things that we had to do was to uh, train uh, young people as guides, uh, those who would be guiding, uh, guiding tourists. And now it is, it is a movement. Other people have taken it over, and it is uh, providing uh, employment to many young uh, uh, men and women who are driving benefit out of that. Prince William also stressed the needs to help locals during his speech. Today, His Royal Highness is bringing together conservationists from last night's awards for a special meeting at St James's Palace, all united in a common cause, helping locals improve their livelihoods so they in turn can protect the animals who live around them. Cameron Walker, GB News.